So before we get into updating the script files and doing our captures, let's have a look at some little Windows tricks and for me AMD tricks that we can do to get some of the best captures we possibly can. So I'm going to already open up Edge because while the uh, application talks about Chrome, Microsoft Edge is a Chromium based browser now and it will actually work with how we're going to do this just so you're aware. The process is the exact same for Chrome but I'm not going to install Chrome. I haven't had Chrome for a long time and the way the reason for that is I found Chrome to be slowing down my computer considerably and found Microsoft Edge to actually be much nicer on my processor and computer hardware so whether that was something built into the operating system I don't know and I'm not going to speculate that so for the things that we need to look at on the performance wise and if you're using Chrome instead of putting edge colons forward slashes in flags it'll be Chrome so that's the only difference from my understanding and I've got my zero copy raster enabled and the GPU restoration enabled and that allow my GPU to work on the web page a bit better and give us some better modeling data the next thing we need to do is go to settings and we're going to look for hardware acceleration so make sure that's enabled and the reason for that is to do with Google Earth so just something to bear in mind and I'm going to go to Google here but and close it next bit so the next bit is all dependent on your GPU and if you're AMD or NVIDIA what we can do for this display is turn on virtual super resolution on NVIDIA it's known as DSR or dynamic super resolution I believe they call it enable this this is just going to make things a bit more scale up and I'll show you the advantages of that I'm also going to turn vivid gaming on just gives a brighter color and a bit more color depth and the other ones we want to turn on is texture filtering it shouldn't affect it as it's to do with DirectX 9 but we might just turn it on anyway so you can turn this on or turn it off entirely up to you and your display um, if you've got HDR you don't want to turn this on as you can read there but I'm going to turn on OpenGL triple buffering and the reason for that is it will give us more buffering with our GL applications and I'm pretty sure from memory Google Earth is got some OpenGL in there so it's going to make things much nicer. I've also got image sharpening on but I'm not going crazy with that and the rest you have off. You don't want this on if you're using virtual super resolution and does it have the description there? No. So let's go out of here as we can see this is a bit brighter now and the next setting we need to do is go to our display settings we'll do it through this way because it's a bit different on every operating system so I'm going to display settings and what we can do is actually because I've turned on the virtual super resolution I can actually tell the Windows operating system that it's an actually higher scale. Before I do that I'm just going to go to here 
just to show you the difference between the two. You can do this on Chrome as well. And let's scroll down and here it is here. So we can see the monitor display that it's this. I'm going to close it and now I'm going to change it. And as we can see in the video, you will now be looking at a screen that doesn't align. So give me two seconds and I'm going to realign it to fit. I'll just pause the video here. Okay, so I've just rearranged it and made the OBS Studio actually capture what I'm doing on screen and not the corner up here. So let's go back to Edge and let's see if it's updated. We might need to completely close it down to update, but there we go. So this is what it's given it. This is how it's scaling, but it can't then we're at a resolution of 56 by 34 2 and if we quickly google that I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, 8k is it? Ah, 6k so we're telling with a 6k resolution now which is awesome the final um, setting that we need to do and this will depend completely on your device and operating system uh, wrong one. And what we need to look at is the advanced system settings and I'm going to close this and we are looking at the performance settings under advanced so we can get some more performance out here if your computer is struggling for whatever reason by turning these off or clicking best performance but if we go to events what we're more interested in is the virtual memory and this essentially is going to give virtual RAM using your hard drive so I'm using my C drive and what we are doing is I've got 64 gig of RAM so I've doubled it it's not actually that is not actually double 64 gig technically if you know your uh, gigabytes and so on but 128 gigs it's more than enough and it's set and initial of that so when my RAM starts to fill up it's going to start using this to help out so that's all the settings that we need to do for performance and so on so I'm going to stop the video here